Hello, I'm Lux. And I'm Ember. And this is our thoughts on some of our favorite cartoon reboots. We are excluding anime because we've already talked plenty about Sailor Moon Crystal. <laughs> ah, and we're going to start with Thundercats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really like this reboot. I know. Warner Brothers, you shouldn't have stopped making it. If you'd made better toys, they would have sold. Yes, I was just about to say that. Your toys didn't sell because the toys sucked, not because the show wasn't doing well. And then there's Young Justice, another show that was cancelled because the toys weren't selling well, even though clearly online it had a huge fan base, just like Thundercats. Oh, I am Capcom. I'm cancelling the Mega Man series because apparently not enough people want to buy it. Cough. Mighty number nine. Cough. <laughs> <laughs> but since we're not talking about... Video game reboots, let's get back to Thundercats! Ho! Yes, so fun. Gorgeously animated, a more cohesive storyline. And better explanations of, oh, we can have more Thundercats arrive because, oh, guess what? There's more on the planet. There's not just a single group of survivors. And magically, some other Thundercats show up later in the series. Yes, and then later, basically almost the entire population has survived without any explanation of why they are all the proper age when nobody else was in the, I don't remember what they're called, hibernation capsules. Because, hello, that's why Jaga died is because he stayed out of the capsule to pilot the ship because Third Earth was so far away from Thundera. Mm -hmm. I really did like the setup much better in the new one as well. The only thing that made me kind of like, hmm, the new series is the technology of the Eye of Thundera, I think it was called, and the jewels and stuff like that, that started like kind of getting very anime-ish. But I was okay with it if they kept it within check. You know, because stuff like that can usually get out of hand with, I'm more powerful than you. I'm more powerful with you. I am more powerful than you. Kind of like the He-Man reboot where there was this one episode where both He-Man and Skeletor found invincible armor. And the entire episode was basically them fighting to a standstill. <laughs> yes, where this was more of, okay, now we have a goal. We've learned more and now we have a goal. We know what we need to do. We need to unite all the animal tribes. We need to get the other jewels and then we can win. And then there's the wonderful clues of the backstory of how they got there. And it was all revealed very nicely and well paced throughout what was shown of the series. Mm -hmm. And wonderful rivalry between lion -O and uh, Tigra and Snarf not talking. Best idea ever. <laughs> uh, oh, and let's talk about their the character redesigns. I like the fact that Lionel was made to look even younger than his classic counterpart because, you know, Lionel is supposed to be, he's, he was even young in the classic TV series, but he was drawn older because apparently his body aged without his mind. So Yes, because there was some issues with only his hibernation chamber because there was slight aging for everyone in the hibernation chambers, but he got booted all the way from kid to grown-up. And all the characters, you know, Chitara, Wily Cat, and Wily Kit, all of them got really nice redesigns. Even Snarf. <laughs> I'm not just talking about, oh, he doesn't speak anymore? No, overall he had a nice design. Um, the one I had the hardest time with was Panthro, but Panthro's original design never seemed very cat-like to begin with, so... And another thing I liked about this reboot is they actually had the original lion -O voicing the king. A very nice nostalgia touch there. And now to move on to another of our favorite reboot series. This is a very popular one. You know, it's I don't think it's too obvious that we like it. You know, we've only done a podcast on, on every episode that we have since we started doing this podcast. Hmm... I think it's called My Little Pony, maybe Friendship is Magic? <laughs> Something like that, I think. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Colorful pastel equestrian running around everywhere. Ah, uh, this is like one of the best reboots I've ever seen to a series. <laughs> well, when you look back at Gen 1 MLP, it it's almost embarrassing that we watched it. 
Mm -hmm. I still like watching it for the nostalgic value, and it has some stuff going on for it. But then you watch the current MLP and you go, yeah, that's a wow. Let's just forget the generations in between. Pretend they never existed. Cough, cough. <laughs> Pretty much. Ah, uh, the updated designs, the upgraded voice acting, <laughs> Tara Strong, Ashley Old Ball, Tabitha St. Germain. I can't remember all of them because I think I'm missing Pinkie Pie Fluttershy or Applejack Rainbow Dash. I can't remember which one of those two I'm missing. <laughs> don't look at me. I don't pay that much attention to VAs. <laughs> I just know it because I read a lot of My Little Pony news and the voice actors' names come up a lot. Mm -hmm. Ah, So, your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Well, on top of all that, better songs, because the original series did have songs. And both standalone episodes and episodes with overarching story. And the overarching story is more than just, oh, this is a two-part episode because we need to go find four horseshoes to save this unicorn. <laughs> yep, and the overall world keeps, uh, basically the writers keep the overall world in check too because, well, not in check, but updated. Because when something happens, it stays happened. <laughs> They don't just forget about it in the next episode or a couple episodes later. The characters grow, their personalities change based on their growth, and they overall get better over time. And last year, one of the people goes, Twilight has wings! That was all Hasbro's fault, and they spent most of season four convincing me that it was going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much season four was like, we're sorry, we thought we were going to be cancelled. Here, we fixed it, right? Right? <laughs> And here we are, waiting for Season 5 to start back up. <laughs> and now for some honorable mentions, basically stuff I watched that he, she, that he, hello he, <laughs> that Ember hasn't watched, like the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is really good, which has been on Nickelodeon for a while now, and it's doing an excellent job, and a character honorable mention from a recent reboot that doesn't seem to be running any longer, thank God, was... Grumpy Bear from the Care Bears reboot. He was like the best character in that reboot. Everyone else was basically two-dimensional. He actually had range of emotion, which is odd to say about Grumpy Bear. <laughs> ah, well, I hope you enjoyed our thoughts on some cartoon reboots we enjoyed. Thanks for listening. Enjoy Lux's art? You can find more of it on Tumblr and DeviantArt. Want to keep up to date with our podcast? You can follow us on Tumblr as well. Really like our channel? Please leave a friendly comment and consider subscribing. Really like Lux's art? You can have some of your own. He is currently open for commissions. Links in the description.